What up people, this is Honest Masculinity. Today we will talk about why you have so much self-hatred and resentment in you. If you like me, you act in specific patterns or you have certain beliefs about the world, women, other people, whatever, and then you feel and feel and feel more and more resentment and hatred growing in you. Especially when it comes to dating, I figured that a lot of people are very frustrated, they're virgins or not very successful with women in general. They, they have a lot of, a lot of hate and resentment in them. And um, then, you know, how your brain works is you have two, two parts of your brain. You have an emotional brain, and which is the, the limbic system. And this is the one um, responsible for your emotions, your feeling and impulses. And the other one is the prefrontal cortex in the front of your brain. Your emotional, the limbic system is, I think, here. And um, the limbic system, so the emotional system, is quicker. So how you basically work is you feel something and then um, the other system starts working uh, and you have I say system because this is from the book thinking fast thinking slow yeah and what he found is that you feel something and then you start the your logical part the prefrontal cortex starts um, inventing stories about why you feel this way the problem is the logic is a lot of times not um, not very good so a lot of the shit that you think is wrong and um, if you feel resentment and hate uh, you have to figure out why that is so when your brain does it invents a story and I feel like a lot of people just you know come up with the story that for for example all of the women are fucked up and it's their fault like fuck the women and um, they're the reason why I don't have the success I want this is a very, very dangerous attitude to have because some of the so-called incels um, are in this culture and I think there was even one who, who, who killed people so he got a shotgun and um, he went out shooting up a school or something and that's why you have to see that this resentment is extremely dangerous for you and other people what you need to do is if you have this resentment and hate is you have to listen to it because it's telling you something. The resentment is there for a reason. Trust me, you're not feeling this um, without reasons. Your emotional part of you is a very ancient thing and it's, it, it, it wants to push you into the direction that is best for you. And if you have negative emotions, that's, that's, that's basically you your whole system that was developed over I don't know how many years to, to change something. So it's basically your biology telling you, bro, you need change. So step fir the first step I want to recommend here is that you ask yourself, is that really true what I think about women and the world? And then also stop seeing yourself as a victim because um, a lot of people who feel this resentment and hate, I feel like they see themselves as a victim of society of uh, the other gender, females, of whatever. That's a dangerous thing to have because if you are a victim, that means you can punish other people for it because they deserve it, right? And be very, very careful where you see yourself as a victim. It doesn't mean that there are no victims in the world, there sure are, but be careful how you victimize yourself and when. In my experience, when I feel resentment building up, don't confuse this with anger because the, the emotion anger is normal and it's okay to be angry sometimes you know and just you know lose your shit it's fine like you, you can you can have that just control it you know like don't kill people when you're angry but maybe you can express it in a healthy manner you can learn to control your anger so don't confuse resentment and hatred with anger that's not the same thing but what you need to do is, I don't know, this, this why it's out a bit woohoo, but I feel like sometimes the universe is telling you something. Or not the universe, maybe your emotional systems are telling you something. Maybe it's fear, maybe it's shame. So if you have the fear, you need to face them. If you have the shame, you need to share it. So you only can get rid of fear by facing it and only sharing shame by uh, sharing it. And in my experience, these two emotions, if they're not dealt with properly, 
you start building up resentment and resentment and resentment and also if you avoid conflicts so if you are actually angry but you hide it from other people you will have more and more and more resentment building up to you and then i talked with like 40 year old versions and they were like fuck women fuck everybody like i'm fine the way i am so there was a lot of resentment there so you have the context and a hate and i was like dude you're 40 you're overweight you're gross as fuck and you're telling me like the world is fucked up and not you <laughs> well yeah so he he stopped talking to me <laughs> He stopped talking to me, but it's a dangerous attitude uh, to have that and he was also fuck women and stuff like that And then I didn't ask him look if you would be a woman would you want to be with someone who hates you and tells you to get lost and like No, <laughs> and that's what he said like obviously not and um, so this resentment is actually pushing you away from women and other people because people feel like if you judge them if you hate them and then they don't want to hang out with you so be careful about that um, to come back to this conflict thing you need to deal with the conflict otherwise you will build up this resentment and rage in you until it just explodes that's not a very good thing so deal with the shit that needs to, to be dealt with in the moment I suck at that too but sooner or later i deal with my shit and that's what you need to do and you won't get out of it you won't get away if you try to you know avoid your shame avoid your fear avoid conflicts or whatever you won't get away from it and um yeah just deal with the shit you'll be fine so i hope this video could help you a bit with resentment and uh, hatred and have a good week peace